Sometimes you need to make a sound effect or a music cue reverb out. I do it all the time when editing music for trailers. For example, in the E3 trailer for Firewatch, I turned this... What make me so special? ...into this. What make me so special? So to do this, I have to find the beat that I want to reverb out. Okay, so this is the beat that I want to reverb out. What I have to do is cut off the clip before any new sounds start after this beat. So there's a little... There's a little click here you can hear. So I'm just cut off here. And now if I was gonna apply the reverb here, what would happen is... So of course, you can't trail out at the end here because the clip ends. So what I need to do is extend this clip out. So how do I do that? First, I'm just gonna cut off a little portion here, and then I'm going to nest this in a new sequence. I'm just call this Firewatch Reverb 1. When I open this sequence, I got the original clip here, and I need to extend this out. How do I do that? So the way I do it is I'm gonna create some black video. It can be whatever video you want, as long as there's no audio. And so now you'll see in the sequence, this can be made longer. And see this kind of cuts off at the end here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little fade here. It could be two frames, it really depends on the sound that you want. So right now, so now this goes like this. And now if I apply the reverb, it does this. Ooh. To make a transition smooth, I want to fade these together. So, so I only really need the very end here. So I'm just gonna trim this back here and just add a little fade here. Usually there's a little bit of volume uh, increase when you do this, so usually I just lower this by about 5 dB, but you can experiment with it. And that's it, basically. Um, you can take a look at, these are the settings that I have for my preset. Yeah, these are the, it's just the regular reverb effect that you find here in Premiere. And I've just saved it as my own preset because I just figured out these settings sound pretty good. If you're using Final Cut Pro 7, you can use the exact same thing. Just go to the Audio Filters Final Cut Pro Reverberation. And then the setting that I like to use is the Fat Plate Long. And I set the effects mix to 100. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so that one starts a little bit late here, so I'm just gonna trim this over. Let's see. All right, so in Avid Media Composer, you can't nest sequences the same way as you can in the other programs. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna make an audio mix down. So I've already cut off this portion of the song here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put an edit here and select this part of the clip. And then we're going to make an audio mix down sequence. And I'm just gonna keep this dual mono have these on audio track three and audio track four. Okay, and so this clip is what we're gonna apply the reverb to. And so we just go to the audio suite and we're gonna select D verb. Let's trim this over actually. And let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so we'll have to adjust the audio levels, but it's basically the same thing. Final Cut Pro 10 is basically the same, except you use compound clips instead of a nested sequence. So I'm just gonna cut off a portion here, make this a compound clip. Okay, and then once we're in here, to make this longer, all I have to do is I'm gonna insert a gap and just move this over here. And then we can extend this out and look for our reverb. I'm just gonna apply this. And I'm just going to trim this over so we can make a little transition. I should maybe make this a little shorter. All right, lastly, a small finishing note. 
If you're not doing the final sound mix, make sure that you bake the reverb in by exporting it as an AIFF or WAV before exporting your OMF. Also be sure to give enough head to the clip so the sound mixer can fade between the normal and reverbed clip. If an assistant editor is exporting the OMF, make sure to let them know that there's an effect there so they can do that. Alternatively, just give the raw audio to the sound mixer with a note to recreate the reverb audio. Their equipment is most likely going to be more sophisticated than what you're using in your editing software anyway. Also, there's a link in the description to my blog post about this reverb technique, which you can use for a future reference. Enjoy!